And following those waves of strikes, civil unrest and a high-profile court case against the pastor, a French diplomat has warned Zimbabwe's leaders to heed its citizens' calls for change before it's too late. Images of police brutality against citizens and the pastor's arrest have been beamed across the globe over the last week. And while Zimbabwe is attempting to woo Western investors on the promise of reforms, the outgoing French ambassador to Zimbabwe has told authorities that the world is watching the unfolding events. French envoy Stint has seen increased business ties with Zimbabwe, but it's also been marked by tension. During celebrations to mark France's Independence Day, a toast to President Mugabe. May he be, for his grandson Simba Nashe, a loving, caring and devoted grandfather. But Ambassador Laurent Delahousse is also warning the country. Those who called in song and in prayer for a new united and peaceful Zimbabwe. May their appeal be heeded before it is too late. Zimbabwe says it has intelligence linking the French and U.S. ambassadors to the violence that rocked Harare and Bulawayo last week. It has come to our attention that the Western-sponsored regime change agenda has intensified, as evidenced by the involvement of some hostile foreign embassies in the recent unsuccessful attempts to bring the country to a standstill. The French envoy has ridiculed the claims against him and called on Zimbabwe to uphold its constitution in handling the waves of discontent over the economy. I make no excuses for believing in democracy and human rights as enshrined in the constitution of Zimbabwe. The freedom to assemble and demonstrate within the framework of the law and to use social media in a peaceful manner. The protection of the people by the state without unnecessary use of force. Even the right to stay at home. Zimbabwe is aggressively pursuing an agenda of re-engagement with the West, the World Bank and the IMF. This after over a decade of political and economic sanctions over long-standing debt arrears and human rights abuses. Fresh loans will help jumpstart an economy in crisis. Money can come this year once again because uh, uh, of that sense of emergency, the fact that everybody recognizes that the situation needs urgent uh, solutions. But global lenders want a raft of economic reforms that will ensure that this time Zimbabwe can repay its new loans. But the French envoy says the world is also monitoring governance and human rights, as well as the events that have unfolded over the last few weeks. It has a, a link with the sustainability of the economic policy uh, of, the, of the country in the future. So all of that is linked uh, and we take all of that into uh, consideration certainly. He says despite sporadic abuses, Zimbabwe's rights record has improved over the years, but that it will take stronger decisions and leadership if it is to fully re-engage with Europe and the United States. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.